all right so in this part of the video i will discuss about performing the flap wise preloading and then the free vibration analysis to get the natural frequencies of the system if you are already familiar with the edge wise loading and you are confident enough that you can how you to apply that edge wise loading then it's very much the similar process for flap wise loading and you can skip this part and move to the part three but if you are if you really want to see some differences in flap wise loading and edge wise loading or no loading case so maybe stay tuned and see how how it looks like at the end all right so part is the same if i go back to the property they are very much the same same uh, elastic properties and mass densities as i have been using before i have again 12 plies in the layup manual which is the same as though those which i have explained in the first part of this video series and then i go to the assembly i assemble it here then steps steps are very much the same as edgewise loading okay in this case this is the problem with the edgewise flap wise loading only so i'm gonna go with this one now and now in this case you can see i have a static general step to apply flap wise loading and preload the structure and then take the same deformed structure to the for the frequency analysis interaction wise again it's the same as what we saw before we have a reference point and we fix the whole surface here with that again as an analyst you have to see how in reality your blade is fixed with that again remember there are no structural supports or features inside the blade so it's very soft blade so that's why we have to apply very low amount of loading to get that and that's why you will get a very low values of the natural frequencies as well all right so interaction is very much the same coupling as i did for edgewise loading so i'm going to skip this part and then i go to the loads so in this case again being lazy i had no load values and there was no structural features here i have not defined any loads here but rather i have used a displacement which very much simulates or bends the structure about y axis about x axis sorry and you can see the displacements are applied in this direction and the value is summarized around this and it's, it's in, applied in early with the linear increments while this is a fixed boundary condition on the top so it remains the same so very much the same as edgewise loading and that's why i'm going it very fast if you haven't seen the edgewise loading case and please have a look at that all the discussions are the everything is de discussed in detail in that video all right so now the mesh again the mesh is the same i'm not a good measure as i always say so i'm being lazy you know and then job i create a job for flap wise displacement as you see here and then i do the submission submit the analysis so if you monitor you can again see it, it took 15 increments for flap wise loading and then the second step was the frequency analysis so let's look at the end results now so if i can now plot it this way and then i can look at that so you can see now this was a preloading or base state because this is base, this was the initial state then i apply a flap wise displacement in this direction and then this is the base state so this became the base state for the frequency analysis and now this is the first mode and you can see it's very different than what you saw for the edge wise case because now the loading is in this direction and you have a very low value of frequency as so from one point i think it was 0.117 and 0.119 with and without edge wise loading but now it's much lower and the frequency and the mode itself is very crazy as well so you see it's trying to go in this kind of deformation state if you look at the further ones so you can see they are more complicated it's just because we don't have any structural feature there and i think composite might struggle to carry this kind of load and and that's why it's showing these kind of frequencies and frequencies and also frequency modes so again you can play around with that and you can so and i hope you are able to learn how to perform pre free vibration analysis to get the natural frequencies and natural modes of vibration of a any structure in my opinion and typically for a wind turbine blade and how you can preload the structure and then do the same and see what is the effect of the preloading all right so thank you very much for watching